Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and all month long I'm going to be giving one video per day um, on all kinds of helpful tips that you can use. And today we are talking about how much water should you be drinking per day. Um, I have two kids and one is uh, my daughter who is 12 and she is very involved in soccer. And she came to me yesterday and she was asking, um, long story short, she has designed this workout program that she wants to do for, uh, so she gets better at soccer, a uh, conditioning program, which I kind of tweaked for. Um, but I was talking to her and she was like, well, what do I need to know in order to get, you know, all the aspects of working out and everything put together? And I started listing them. And I was like, wow, there's, there's a good deal of things that have to be in the right place in order for her to be successful. Now, she does not need to lose weight by any stretch of the imagination, so it's more of a conditioning thing. But there are a lot of different aspects to a fat loss program um, that just isn't all about, you know, food and working out. There's a lot of other factors that are involved. Uh, if you would like to save some time and have this process streamlined for you, a nice fat loss program that actually is designed for you and that will be effective and works for you, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and you can request a free consult with me. All right, so let's dive into today's topic, which is how much water should you be drinking? Uh, rule of thumb, which has been tossed around, is half your body weight in ounces. So this is fine if you weigh 150 pounds or 200 pounds, that's fine. But if you're over 350 pounds or more, that's a lot of water. You don't need to be drinking that much water. Um, the standard recommendation is about 90 ounces. So I usually tell my clients between 90 ounces and 128 ounces. Um, you will be running to the bathroom a lot, especially if you're starting off new. Um, so there is, um, I do have suggestions on how to put this together. Sorry, I'm reading my notes here. <laughs> um, all right, so ideally 90 to 128 ounces per day. So what I usually tell my clients is you do 32 ounces before 9 o'clock. This is what I do too. 32 ounces before 9 o'clock, 32 ounces before noon, 32 ounces before 3 p.m., and 32 ounces before 6 p.m. So stopping at 6 p.m. will help you not have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, which is nice. You don't want to be waking up five times to go to the bathroom. So depending on what time you go to bed, um, I generally like three or four hours before you go to bed, so let that water process through you. Not that saying that you can't sip on water after six. That's not an issue. Um, so if you look at the big picture, the average water intake is about 10 ounces per hour, if you want to think of it that way, um, and that's for about 12 hours throughout the day. Now, if you are brand new to drinking a ton of water, uh, I know a lot of people that first start working out with me, they're only drinking like 30 ounces of water a day. You are dehydrated. Start off small. So if 30 ounces is what you're drinking today, then just try to bump it up to 40 or 50 ounces the next day. Do that for a week. See how you feel. Um, some days, especially if it's hot in the summer, you're going to want some more water. But um, see how you feel with that. And then just increase each week. So next week would be 60 ounces. Then the following week would be 70 ounces. And work your way up. Really, the bottom line is, is that if you are going to the bathroom, TMI, if you're going to the bathroom and your urine is pale yellow or clear, you are hydrated. So start off small, aim for whatever you're doing, just kind of slowly add to it. Uh, ideally 90 to 128 ounces a day, 28 ounces a gallon. So, all right. So if you want a tailored program that is specifically designed for you and your needs, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. All right, I'd be happy to help you and give you some guidance and direction into what you need to do. All right, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. All right, take care, bye.